Workshop is Blizzard's latest addition to Overwatch. Since everybody's gonna be doing boring showcases, I made Gun Game. My name is Nate, and welcome to Blizzard Guides. So this is a pretty simple setup, honestly. I'm just gonna go back and add a cool ton of features, but for now, this is the bare bones setup. You just create an array with all the heroes you want, so I just did them in alphabetical order, but you could make it through any heroes. You could do only DPS, or only heroes that have two arms, or whatever you want, and then I just created another rule that says, whenever a player gets a final blow, they're immediately forced to play the next hero in the list that you just created based on their elims, and then I just set the kill limit to the amount of heroes in the list, and bam, we're done. It's pretty simple, and it's crazy powerful, so I'll just just leave some gameplay in the background while I talk about the workshop and tell you some of the cool things that I discovered that you can actually do. First off, you can literally program anything. When Jeff was talking about how they imported code from the features from the editor that they use at Blizzard, they seriously were not kidding. You can manipulate the kill feed, you can do custom messages like where there's new events or something going on, you can literally read messages that people send into the match chat and use them for events, which means that you can do custom commands or have interactions with NPCs. There's literally endless possibilities. And basically, you can do anything and everything that you can imagine you can do. I'm not kidding. I haven't even looked into it that much, but I'm actually fairly certain, and I've tested this, that you can have events trigger based on abilities, which means that you can make it so that Genji Deflect makes him slow-mo, or maybe that you can make it so McCree's flashbang actually reses people instead of does damage, or you can do things where you become invisible when you stop moving, like this quick mock-up I made, so you could basically just do automated hide and seek where if the seeker sees the player move and then they become visible, it actually kills them over time. This is just genuinely an insanely powerful tool that'll let you do just about anything. I have experience as a programmer, so this is right up my alley and I can figure these things out quickly, but I'm sure that people can figure this out easily, given a bit of time, and I can guarantee you that there are a lot of experience experiences in games that will come from this. I'd even expect to see story missions and stuff like that spawn from this. I'm just super incredibly excited for this feature, and you should be too. You have access to every feature and line of code that anybody at Blizzard has, so there's the ability to do custom game modes and custom heroes, and I'm just freaking out about this, and I'm impressed at how well polished this is already, and I can't wait to see what the community does. Comment down below with what you want to see as a game mode, and I'll try my best to make them, and we can probably come up with some really cool game modes, and maybe I'll do a weekly feature of the best game modes that people come up with or stuff like that. And also, really quick, if you want to use this game mode yourself, here is the code. I'll put it on screen. If you guys want to try Gun Game, this is a little bit buggy. I mean, the kill feed's kind of broken, but this, this simple version, you can use this code. But that's been it for today. I'll leave some more background gameplay of the Gun Game for you guys to watch if you want to, but that's just it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a nice day. My name is Nate, and this was Blizzard Guides.